Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to see about Appian and its new AI features for developers. So see here, Appian has recently released lot of AI features and those features are actually good if you try to use that in your day to day development activities as well. So we are going to focus mainly on the two AI features for developers right now that is sample data creation and test case creation, how it can help in our development as well. So first AI feature let's see about that sample data generation so see in Appian when you are working with the records in Appian here so once you have created a record for example let's say that I have a record called as MA employee salary and here I have one field called employee ID which is a primary key name is there salary is there rating is there and created on is there and these are the fields now I want to work on the data and create some dashboards I want to create a editable grid and all but in order to do all these things I need to have some data and as of now if you open this record list here this has no data at all and you know like one blocker is there in the community edition is that I don't even have database access in order to actually use the database and go and update some data there so how can we do that so if you go to the data preview tab in this preview tab Appian has given the feature to add a row of the data as well and apart from that it has added its AI feature to generate the sample data as well so here if you go in the data preview you can see here add row is there if you want to add just one row of data you can come here name salary rating everything you can put it here and you can create here there is a button to add and add another as well but let's say that I want to add 50 data or 100 data how can I do that then so in order to add that much of data there is a feature called as generate sample data here which will help us a lot in generating some realistic data the best feature is that it generates realistic it don't add some garbage data in your record here it will add some realistic and meaningful data let's click on that once you will click on that you will be given a dialog box and in that dialog box all the data related to your table will pop up here see here the data name is coming here salary is coming and see the salary are variables here not everything is having the same salary and even if you see the ratings are also variable 5 4 3 5 4 some random ratings they have given so this is how you can create some sample data for your record type but the feature doesn't end here there is more to that if you click on the advanced configuration here here you will be given the option like how many records you actually need so here you can see like no I don't need 10 I need 25 so you can click on that 25 here and you will be able to generate 25 records as well okay and here if you click on refresh so it will generate the 25 records and there is one additional feature here that additional instructions have been given there let's say that I want that all the salaries should be in the range of uh, let me write a prompt here all salary in the range of 50,000 okay to let's say 90,000 this is only salary I want to have it 50,000 to 90,000 click on refresh all data now this time one prompt I have given here and the other is 25 data so it will generate 25 rows of data along with this particular instruction here see here now every data is having that values between the 50 to 90 K so here all the value here you can see like you know like all the 25 rows of data is also present here once you are done and verified the data like whatever you need it was uh, fine and if you need to change anything you can give a prompt and change the data as well click on insert button once you click on insert button all this data will get inserted in the record type there okay and once everything is inserted you can use anywhere you want to use as a normal record type only so just click on refresh here and let's click on refresh in our record list as well now here you can see all the data it is reflecting here all the 25 rows of data let's say like I want to create grid based on this data here so what I can do here is that MA employee let me just this is a read only grid and let me just add MA employee salary here so MA employee salary and you can create a read only grid as well see 
at the same time i can get the read only grid so wherever i want to utilize this data i can utilize that so this feature is very helpful when you are trying to work on the poc and you want some sample data quickly so that you can create some rules as well on based on that so i hope this feature is clear to you and try to use this feature as well on your own ones now let's move on to our next ai feature that is test case creation so creating test case is one of the most important task so if you create more test cases for your rules and all it is very unlikely to get broken in the production or higher reasons as well so few test cases we create sometimes by our own as well like having a null check and all but there are many more test cases that we might not be able to test those that also we can easily do that so if you are doing the unit testing for your application it will be very helpful so what i have did here is that i have tried to create a rule here so this rule basically try to calculate employee bonus based on rating so here you can see that i have multiple and variable ratings for each of the employee based on the rating of the employee i want to give them some bonuses how can i give them for example if employee have a rating of 5 i want to give them 20 percent bonus if they have four rating i want to give 15 percent so if employee have three rating i want to give 10 percent below that i don't want to give any bonus at all so based on that only let's try and test our rule once so what we will do here is that see here i have first of all try to get the data query record by identifier this is the record i am querying here employee id is here in the one rule input i have created for employee id and in order to calculate the bonus i have used a bank match if rating is 5 i am doing 20 percent 20 percent means what 0 0.20 then 4 then 15 percent if 3 rating then 10 percent let's write a employee id here employee id 2 click on test rule so for 2 it is returning some bonus let's write here a rating id of 3 then for 3 as well it will return 0 it means that the employee would have if you see rating is what employee id 3 is rating of 2 that is why there is no bonus at all so as of now my rule looks good and everything is fine and i am able to calculate the bonus as well so here also it has two rating only employee id 8 now i want to add some test cases click on save changes and see here if you go to the test case creation here you can also create like a test case of your own something like this one there and you can also generate test cases as well there so let's try to generate the test case with ai ones click on generate test case here it is generating a test case for you in same way it has generated multiple data here also it will generate you multiple test cases as well so that you can test your rule against multiple scenarios so here you can see uh, my test case has been generated here and here a lot of test cases have been there so first of all see so if your rule has passed it will show you green checkbox if it has failed it will show you the error and here it what it has failed here so you see here here it has failed and here it has a stop like a error test return and error if it returns error it will show something like a, uh, this one an exclamation mark if it shows like failed here so these are the test cases click on add test cases here let's see that one by one test case like why it fails and we will try to resolve our rule and we will try to run the test case once again so it what it is doing here handle null let's try to load this test case and let's try to test like why it fails okay so see when i click on test tool it is giving a error here why because for null data it is not handling it means that i need to add a null check in my rule what i will do here if and i will just add a null check that if is null or empty what ri bank employee id then it should just return null now our rule won't break click on go to the test case and we will try to run selected test case once and see here now our error have been resolved okay so see how much helpful it is it will check for your null checks it will check for see here calculate bonus rating for five so let's say that what is this test case here why it has failed there click on load test case and click on test rule here so what it returns 8500 and that's correct why it returns let's see that run selected and now and similarly we can check all the rule one by one as well like why they are breaking for example calculate correct bonus for rating 3 and why it has failed okay so i guess it is a certain ex expression evaluation to no we don't want to it just one that it should match the output value then it will show as passed here 
we don't want that uh, one here okay so it has passed and i guess same error it is doing so in test case like whether it is true or not that one it is trying to do so let's see it is an ai feature at the end of the day so whatever you write based on that it will uh, return you the value so basically it is treating that like if i give some value it can return true but it is not about true or false it's about the some value like i want that what is the value so I hope that this particular test case creation and the sample data creation clear to you and you will try to use this feature in your development as well. It will try to cover the edge cases as well when you go for a peer review or a code review. Maybe you can solve those issues beforehand only then okay so these features are only limitation is that these features are available on the higher versions only if you are on maybe like 24 point something then it will be available to you otherwise you would have to upgrade the environment so that was all for now i hope this was clear to you thank you